let's take a look at the web vault. Your web vault will consist of various items. These items can consist of logins, so your typical username and password, cards, which might be a personal or company credit card, identities, which can store additional information for people, such as first and last name, address, phone number, etc. And secure notes, which is any plain text that you would want to store securely. These items can be part of either your individual vault, or they can also be part of an organization. My vault will be items that you do not want to share with any other user. These are items which are just stored for your personal use and can only be accessed by you. Your organization vault is what you'll use to share items with other members of your organization. This organization can consist of an enterprise, so typically something like a company, a team, a family, or simply just yourself and another user if you are using our free option. Different items are shared through organizations through the use of collections. Collections are typically going to represent a department, an area of responsibility, or other way that you'd like to organize your items. These will be set up by the administrators or owners of your organization. Within the Web Vault, I also have the ability to personalize my view. The two options I have for this will be using either favorites or folders. Favorites, very similar to bookmarks, can be created by clicking on any item. So I'll go back to all items, navigating to the item I would like, and clicking on and checking or unchecking this favorite icon. Now when I go to my favorites, it will display all of my favorites that I have selected. And also when I'm using the web browser extension, these favorites will show up at the top of my vault. The other way that I have to organize my personal view is with the use of folders. So folders can be used to organize any items that I have access to. So in this example here, I can create a new folder called payroll. And I can add to it both the personal ADP login item. So I can go to that item and choose the folder that I would like hit save, and I can also add this company payroll user to that same folder. So now even though if I go to my vault, I only have my personal ADP login, and if I go to my enterprise org vault, I only have my payroll user. I can also now go to payroll and have those two organized together. So this is just a function for ease of access and only visible to you as an individual user.